Oh my gosh. The first fishing experience since the, the crazy Armageddon weather experience we had. And last night we got about two inches of snow to boot. We're gonna get this boat ready. We're gonna go out and have a great time. I guarantee you these fish are gonna be starving. Starving, starving, starving. And we're gonna get first crack at them today. Oh my gosh. Can you, can you see that? I appreciate that prop. Check that prop out. That is a picture if I haven't seen one before. Good night. Oh. Well, she starts up. Now we're gonna let her run for a while. We're not even gonna, we're not even gonna attempt to take her out until we start seeing the, the water coming out of the engine, so. There she is. Now let's get our monitor on and we'll get this show on the road. All right, while that engine warms up, we're gonna go ahead and show you the loop knot right off the bat in this episode. And this is what we're gonna be starting with today is a black 30 second ounce head. There's the loop knot. We're gonna twist it around. Not that pretty. And we're gonna tie that up. That's actually a very good loop knot right there. There it is. And we're gonna go ahead and start off with a paddle tail. Three pound fishing paddle tail. Let's do that. And really hot color has been the Blue Monkey. You can get those on the website if you're interested. And um, we're gonna trim this up. These jigs will never break. I've never had an experience where they've broken. Um, so they'll last forever as long as you uh, don't get hung up, right? And you don't break your line or anything. So you can see eyes missing on this one. It's been in my boat for a while. A lot of times I recycle them and put them right back in my little war chest. And sickness sounds fantastic. We're gonna get rolling. Well, folks, we're back. I hope you guys have had a great holiday season and uh, we're gonna have a great time today. Uh, first time I've been on the water in a week, uh, going through the holidays, all that great stuff. And uh, these fish have got to be lonely because I can tell you there has been nobody on this water, uh, as far as I can tell, with that nasty, I'll call it Armageddon because it was crazy. Um, waves, white cap, and steam everywhere on this lake. Um, it just looked nasty out there, but this is our first time getting out here. We're going to see what they're doing, and uh, it's going to be interesting, no doubt about it. I, we're going to put some slabs in the boat. I've got to get some new pictures with the jersey uh, for this year's uh, Elite Series. So my goal is to get a couple really good-sized fish in here so that we can uh, then take some pictures uh, with those jerseys. So And just come out here and fish. I haven't fished in a while. It's going to be, it's going to be fun. Well, we finally found a really good group here. It's been a while, to be honest with you, searching around on a lake that you haven't fished in a long time, but without a doubt, they are stacked on this little hillside right here, and this is the first cast. And I usually love when they're stacked like that. And there's our first fish. That is our first cast at these, and we should have a good day. This is feeling like a good fish. Good fish right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Slabalicious, baby. I don't know if you guys saw that very well on the live scope, but that is one heck of a start right there. That's a good fish. Man, just missed the fish right there. There's another good one. 
these fish are just all over this point and uh they're basically just schools hopefully you guys can see that there's schools that are moving in and out of here so you can see that right there i'm gonna drop down right here you can see it pretty clearly i think and uh I did go ahead and add that weight back on. I've taken it off for some time, but until we find some that are really gonna be shallow. But there he is right there. Look at this, they should just come right up and touch it. And when they do, I can feel it on that braid. It just makes it that much easier with the braid. And you can see me, I'm just in there. I see one creeping up on it. There's one. Ah, boy, he's pulling good too. He's pulling good. Slabalicious, baby. Letting them go though. Let them go. One thing I did notice is that my pumps are not working on the boat. <laughs> I'm assuming they're frozen, obviously. And uh, you might ask, see all these fish right here? You can see them just totally stacked up right in there a lot of times what happens at least on my lake is you play the wind and that wind is blowing straight into this corner right here it's a real popular corner in the winter time and um yeah so a lot of times that blows the bait fish in here hence the uh the crappie and there they all are just stacked up in there and uh boy you find the right bait it can become a pretty exciting experience now these fish are still a little deeper than normal uh, so I'd like to find some shallower fish, to be honest with you. But right now it's pretty fun. You can see them all. Look at that. They're just, they're just all coming in right there. So a lot of times the strategy is to actually put it on spot lock and cast into them. Um, rather than doing what I'm doing right now, which is trying to stay with them. <laughs> and being shallow so good fish here wow that is a picture fish right there that is a picture fish that is a freaking tank oh man that is a good fish let's see what we got Let's see what we got. That's a pound and a half fish. Pound and a half fish. That's a slab right there, folks. That's a slab getting fat. Man, that's a good fish. Man, I wish my live well was working. Frozen. Let them go. Oh, yeah, baby. That's a good fish. See that pile right there? This is another point I just came to. And uh, again, just playing the wind, really. This is a slab. This is another big fish. Good fish. God, good solid fish right there. Ooh, that's a heavy fish too. You know, sometimes you go to these piles and they just aren't aggressive, but this one, you know, I've had two casts on it. Both times I've had fish coming flying for it. So there it is dropping. And um, again, I got another taker coming right at it. You can see he's, he's following it. Yeah, here we go. Come on, baby. Don't be a quitter now. Here he comes. Here he comes. And then he goes away. That's how it happens. Water temperature up here on this side of the lake is 44 degrees. On my other side that we started at, was roughly around 10 degrees difference, which is very interesting. 
quite a big difference. So you're gonna have to assume the fish are coming over here. Look at this guy, he's coming. He's coming strong. Is he gonna be a quitter, let it stop a little bit? Nope. You guys see that? Man, that was awesome. Here he comes. Just floating with the school. Not the easiest bite, but floating with the school. And eventually they can't handle it anymore. Somebody's gotta to touch it. We're gonna to try to get out of this wind. Well guys, that's gonna end it. Uh, just a great, a great afternoon of fishing, really. Early, I should say early afternoon. Um, water temperature today was roughly around 40, everywhere from 45 to 30. Five. It's crazy how the water fluctuates. Anyway, that's going to end it, folks. I appreciate you. Have a great holiday season. This episode will, will probably air before New Year's, and it's important to spend time with your families. It's a, it's been an awesome experience this, this holiday season with my family, having a, just getting together and all that great stuff. So um, enjoy it. I'm going to get out in the water, continue to get out in the water, no matter how cold it gets. Uh, but please subscribe. Please uh, share the content, and I do appreciate you. It's going to be a great 2023 on the uh, Crappie Masters Elite Series. And uh, anyway, have a great one, guys.